Hi, my name is Zarina Aishamarin. I am a network engineer, and today we will be discussing what an F5 can do regarding services such as AFM and ASM. In this series, I have discussed already LTM and GTM, so if you would like to know more, you can check out the video down below. So what is AFM? It stands for Advanced Firewall Management. It's basically a network firewall, and the idea is that it guards a data center, which would normally hold all of your infrastructure, such as your routers, your switches, your servers, etc., from attacks entering the network. And when I mean attacks, I mean, you know, Trojans, DDoS attacks, viruses, ransomware, all of that good stuff. I mean, bad stuff. So let's take humans to kind of illustrate this concept. So let's take wrestlers in particular. They're very strong and they look like they could guard a data center. And over here you can see... Mm, let's give them names, Johnny and uh, Ben. Ben is trying to attack the data center and Johnny is like, nope, leave, I must protect. But on a serious note, it would look something like this. Gary sitting on his computer thinking he's pretty darn cool, sitting in, I don't know, Germany. And he's like, yeah, it's time to attack this this." data center sitting in London, you know, and there's a F5, there's a, a big IP F5 AFM that is sitting in front of the data center and, you know, it's configured and it's up, it's running and it's just like, um, nope. Now we will move on to ASM. It stands for Application Security Manager, which is essentially a WAF which stands for Web Application Firewall. And yes, it's another type of firewall, but this firewall doesn't operate at the network layer. It operates at the application layer, which is the seventh layer of the OSI model. And you know, traditionally firewalls would just work at the network level, but nowadays we pretty much get threats at every level of the OSI model, hence we need to protect also the application layer. And traditional threats would be HTTP flood attacks, and so ASM is, you know, very useful and WAF basically is very useful. So now that we know what AFM and ASM is, in the next video we will learn what APM is and hopefully in the next series we can start learning how to configure these services. Okay, so that's all for this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and leave your comments down below, even if that includes suggestions for any other videos in the upcoming future. Otherwise, thank you for watching.